Hey guys, it's How to Tech Simplified. Today we'll show you how to easily play Rise of Kingdoms, the mobile game, on your laptop or PC using Bluestacks 5. Now, Bluestacks is an emulator for an Android device, so it will simulate an uh, Android device on your PC. Now, go to the Bluestacks official website, Bluestacks, and from here you click the Bluestacks.com. Now, as you can see, it offers a Bluestacks 10 and a Bluestacks 5. Now, make sure to download the Bluestacks 5 because that's the most optimized as of now. Now, from here, you uh, download the EXE, the installer, and you install the game. You press yes, and from there, you follow the easy prompt that uh, Bluestacks gives to you. So just uh, simply install it by their prompt and go ahead and install it. Now I've already done that, so I'll open up Bluestacks. Now once your installation process has been done, Bluestacks should open up and you should come to this screen. Now from here, this will open up. Now the first thing you need to do is go to the Google Play Store right here in the top left corner. Now, from here, the Play Store will open up and make sure to log in to your existing Google Play Store account right here. Now, from there, all you got to do is search for the game. Rise of Kingdoms. It pops already up. And as you can see, it's the official Rise of Kingdoms app. Now, from there, all you do is press install. And from there, Bluestacks will start to install the Rise of Kingdoms Lost Crusade application. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of other games as well to choose from. All Android games, all mobile games. And from here, we wait till the process is done. And once uh, Rise of Kingdoms has started to download, it will start to install the game. And as you can see, a little icon popped up on my desktop. From here you can start a game, or you can go from the Play Store, the Bluestacks app, and start to play the game from here. Now, as you can see, it's the official Rise of Kingdoms app, and there are already pre-selected stuff you can do with the keyboard controls. Now this just works the same as on your tablet or mobile phone and it will start the game. Now if you want to change any settings like the settings that you see right here, the keyboard settings, all you gotta do is press the keyboard and from there go to the controls editor. Now from here you can change a load of options. For example, if I want to change the one to another keyboard, all I do is click it and I can change it. If I want to add another shortcut to the game, all I do is click on the game and here I can select a keybind. Now, if this tutorial has helped you, please like and subscribe. If you can't come up with anything, just ask in the comments down below and I will try to help you.